Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to answer a question that Joseph had in the FBC group. And what he wanted to know was how to have a pop-up on the screen that on page load, this was something his client was asking for, that on page load the pop-up not come down from the top, but to scroll up slowly from the bottom. It has something, I think, to do with GDPR. So they want this notification to come in. And then inside of this pop-up, they're going to have a button or something in there where somebody's going to click on it and it's going to register that they agreed to whatever GDBR, whatever the heck that is, uh, those terms. And so let me just show you how it works. We're going to turn that off. We're going to reload the page. Now I have it set to only work on page load because again, that is exactly what was asked for and to have it slide up into the middle of the screen slowly. And as you saw, as it came up, the opacity changed as it was coming up. So down here, you can kind of see the background through it, but as it comes up, it goes away and becomes solid white. If you don't want there to be any opacity at all, you want the background to be solid the entire time, we can set it that way as well. So when I first started working on this, we, uh, you know, I was talking, uh, talking with Joseph and Yashika on the call. And uh, first off, we went in and we said, okay, well, is there any way inside of the pop-up itself? So let's go to the pop-up settings. Is there any way in here to be able to set any animations? And you can't set anything there. And there was nothing else. And so we looked through this. And then I said, well, how about if we do it just at the level of the... Uh, section itself. So if you go into this section and we're going to take a look at this, we get it to open up and then we go to our advanced and our turn on our animations. At first I thought, okay, well we can do a slide in and then the direction of bottom. And in case you didn't know this, let's say we went to fade in, you see where it said bottom there that disappeared. But if you come down to slide in, then we have the direction it would slide in from and that actually worked pretty good the only problem with it was is it started about right here in the middle of the screen and then moved up up here and no matter what i did to adjust the height of uh, the pop-up and the height of the section and all that i couldn't get it to go all the way down off the screen in fact i couldn't get it to go down further than about right here so i said well okay we can't go the direction of using the section and animation we can't animate the pop-up so what are we going to do and I realized very quickly that it's going to come down to me just absolutely writing this as code so in order to do that what we had to do first of course is we had to build our pop-up and then again inside our pop-up I have my section and what I did is I ended up hiding the section but let's just turn it back on for all and you're going to see here because I have the animations already turned on it uh, slowly slid back up the page and so then I created this section as you see over here so you create the section however you want you I wouldn't say create multiple sections because then we'd have to have them all sliding together so that really wouldn't work so a singular section but you could actually put a section inside of a section if you absolutely had to by coming over here to the settings editor settings and click on section behavior to allow sections to behave as elements or sections uh, but that's for a different video that i shot but if you know how to use that then you could actually put two sections in there let's uh, open that pop-up back up again and so build out your section however you want. You could go multiple rows, put images in here, buttons, whatever you need to do in order to make this work. And then the only other thing we have to do with this is we have to come into the code for this section. And what I did is I thought I had done this. Let me see here, am I in the right section here? Let's go to this section and we go to our code and here we go i must have clicked on the wrong thing uh, i gave it the css id selector of slide up pop up now technically you could call this anything you want as long as what you put right there matches what you put over here on the left with the hashtag in front of it and so what we're going to do here is we're going to use what is known as an M animation with some keyframes. And that's what makes us start off at the bottom and then move up on the page. And then there's one other thing I had to do with some a little bit of JavaScript code. And that was simply to say that I wanted to... Um, I wanted to delay the load on this page because what was happening is 
the normal function for a pop-up is for it to drop down from the top of the screen. Well, I wanted to completely hide the visibility of that pop-up falling down from the top. So in order to do that, I said, okay, let's, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hide the, the element here, the slide up pop-up. So the section on the page, I want to hide that at first until it's gone all the way down to the bottom. So the pop-up goes down on the page, the section itself is positioned down below the bottom of the page, and then at that point, then it's gonna show on the screen and then it's going to slide up. So we're gonna hide it until that point and then we're gonna allow it to slide up. And that's exactly what this code says here. It says window on load function, which just means don't run this code right here until the page is completely loaded, including loading all the images and everything else. And then even at that, we're going to take another second for a timeout delay, just again, in order to allow everything to function, allow that pop-up to get to the bottom of the page before we then say, okay, now let's, let's show that section now. So now at this point here, it's at the bottom of the page, the section is showing, and that's when the CSS is going to pretty much kick in at this point. And I will just, let's open up the page a little bit. This very top part here, this just says, while the modal is on the screen, we want the overflow hidden. And what that means, and the reason we're doing it, is to keep the scroll bar on the left-hand side from coming on. Otherwise, as the page loaded and stuff slid down and things appeared on the screen, the sidebar, the uh, scroll on the right-hand side was turning on and off. And so it's changing the width of the page slightly. I didn't like that, so I just said, okay, as long as the modal, the pop-up is open, we're going to hide that scroll bar on the right-hand side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that slide-up section, the section we're going to hide here in a minute, and we're going to position it absolutely. So by positioning it absolutely, we're saying, okay, we want it specifically in this space within its parent element. So we still have the pop-up on the page and the section is inside of it. So we are absolutely positioning that section inside of its parent element, which is the pop-up. And we're saying, where do we want that in there? Well, we want it to the left of zero. So basically we're gonna leave it in place because they essentially, these two boxes are the same size. But then what we want to do is in our first keyframe down here, we're going to say we want it down from the top. So we're gonna to start at the top, we're gonna go down 70% of the viewport height that's where I found it put it off the bottom of the screen. If you're finding on screens that you're looking at needs to be more, then make it 80, 90, whatever you want to do. And I'm talking about this number right here. So you can make it whatever you want. It'll just push it off the screen further and it'll take a little bit longer for it to travel up and get back onto the screen. And also what I'm saying here, it's kind of belt and suspenders because we already hid the section on the page. We delay for a second or two to show it, but I'm still saying in the CSS, we still want the opacity of that element to be zero because again, I want to have that thing completely hidden until we're ready for it to start coming back up from the bottom. So then when we get into our keyframes, well, I guess uh, uh, this one line here is the important line. This says we're going to create an animation. We're going to call it slide up. So that's also reflected right here, slide up. We want this animation to run for five seconds and we want it to come in at a basically a constant speed and then at the very end just slow down a little bit. That's what ease out means. And forwards means when it gets to the end just to stop and leave it there. Because if we don't say forwards, what it does is it actually disappears off the page and will revert back to the zero opacity. And we of course don't want that. So then in our keyframes here, we say we're going to start, 0% is our start. We're going to start at 70%, the viewport height, so way down here off the screen at the bottom. And then when it gets to 100%, it's going to be top of zero, which is going to be up here, which is going to be at the top of the pop-up itself. And I'll show you the pop-up settings here in a minute. So it's going to go from way down here in the pop-up to the very top of the pop-up, which I have set at 50% down the top, down the middle of the screen. 
and we're going to go from opacity of zero, which means invisible, to opacity of one, which means fully visible. And so that is really it for the CSS and the footer code. It's really quite simple. And so let's uh, turn this off and let's go look at the pop-up settings itself. And so what we're going to say here, I have a top margin of 50%. Make sure you change this from pixels to percentage. You can put this, of course, anywhere you want on the screen. The higher up you put this on the screen, the more likely it is you're going to want to increase this number from 70 up to something else because it's going to have to push it down even further if you want to pull that up a little bit more. Uh, so we don't want it to show on exit. We only want it to show on the page load. Set your width to whatever you want for mobile and desktop. And then the top and bottom paddings, you don't need anything in there because the absolute positioning and the top setting that we have in there that basically overrides the padding so you don't have to worry about that and otherwise i did nothing else in here except i did make the background of the modal itself a little darker i had a set of 70 let's go to 80 even just so that this really really shows off and oh i guess one thing i did say is in the code if you want if you don't want the um the slider as it comes up, if you don't want that section as it's coming up to be um, um, invisible at all, then you just want to change this here to the number one, and then it won't be visible or it won't be invisible anymore. It'll be totally visible. Or you could put in something like 0.5 if you wanted it to be only partially um, opaque, and then it'll go from 0.5 up to one. So you'll still be able to see through it a little bit as it's sliding up. But um, I had mine at zero, so I'm going to leave that right there. And so let us save this. And I think I showed everything there was to show inside of the pop-up itself. And we showed how to build it with just putting a section in here, rows, anything else you want inside of it. I showed you the code. So I really think that is it. Let's just take one more look at it. So on page load, here it is, slides up on the screen. And um, that's it. So if you got any questions, just let me know.